If you're looking to support the Locks and Load YouTube channel, I would like for you guys to go to locksandloadfirearms.com and support the channel that way by purchasing a t-shirt or one of the other merches on there. If you're looking to support the Wagunda Nation uh, store, go to wagundanation.net and pick up a patch, a hat, or a t-shirt again from one of our Teespring stores on the site. If you're looking to get firearm instruction for me, locksandloadfirearminstruction.com. If you also want to know about certain things before you buy it, um, Box and Load Consultation Service on that same website will get you right. If you also want to support the Locks and Load Firearm channel, go to Patreon, become a member. A dollar gets you in, five dollars gets you more access, ten dollars gets you all that, plus help support the channel. So, guys, get in there, rock it out. Locks Load out. Yep, call so call them over to your guy and check them off on your list when you find them. Hey, uh, so, hey, Eric. So you see the two rock piles? Right between it, and you got the big camouflage target. Like right between those the white and gray rock pile. That's a target, but that's not an item. You got time after? Oh, no, no, I, I'm, yeah, I gotta walk him through it. Oh, you found an item? Okay. Yeah. But basically, if you find that target right down to the left at his feet, like, look at his feet and look to the left, you're gonna see a green patch in the bushes. Yeah, that's a difficult one to find. Yeah. So you see, right between them, you'll see, like, a large camouflage steel target. He may not be able to see it from there. From here, from where I'm sitting right now, he could see it, but he wanted to go way over there. Yeah, you find it. You find it. Go ahead and move on. A little bit of tactical where's wall though. They have set amounts of items located in various areas, various distances in the field, some small, some large, some little hidden, some out in the open. And they actually have to locate. They have to work together to guide each other on. That is not one of the items. If anything, it must be that tree is my right, time. How many items y'all find? Uh, all, all but, but two. two. Yeah, all right. Two. So if you look at the gray rock pile, okay, the top left corner of it, you see there's a green bush that's kind of growing out of the top of it. It's at the base of that green bush. Oh my god. Y'all walk each other on to each of them. Find them, walk each other on, and then let me know. I'll call off the uh, the drill. Yep, I see the target to the left. Okay. That's target number one. Is that the one that's deep, deep in the trees? Yep. Yep. That's target number one. Alright, if you pan to the right, you'll get to where the circle of concrete thing on the ground is. Going over to the right. Yeah, you're right next to that tree. Yep. Yeah, tree to the left. Yep. Yep. To, yep, there's a tree to the left of it. If you mm -hmm. keep following that over to the right. Yeah, you see the green pack and the target to the right of that. Yep. Right, so that's three. Yeah, and then the white circle target in front of the rock pile. 
see that? Uh, yep. Okay, that's number four. And then going all the way over the one that I couldn't see that I can see now, that's number five. The big one? Yeah. Yep. So now I just need to find the sixth one. There's a little steel target. Ah, my ass cheek. <laughs> to the right. Yeah, little, okay, that is it. Yeah, the little gray one. Okay, so yeah, that's number six then. Yep. All right, so you take the three going from right to left, and I'll take three going from left to right. So I gotta engage each of them together. Oh, each of them? So you have two on each. Yeah, I think it's okay, so. All right, yeah, fuck it, we'll just start. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, that's all right. All right, right. right to left, I mean. No, Y'all communicate left. when you're ready. Left to right. So starting on your left, we're going right. Make sense? Okay. Did I say right to left? Left to right. That's what I meant, I thought. That's oh what I meant. Right. Bro, there is no comfortable way to do this shit. That's there is that's no the way it's supposed to be. Like, no matter how many times you do it, it does not get any comfortable. It's the way it's supposed to be. It's the way it's designed. And this is where I got. And that's the only way it goes. Oh well. Alright. <clears throat> I'm ready. Alright, shooter ready. I have control. I have control. Five on the TF2. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Both were impacts. Good shot. Engage the next target. All right, I don't know. The guy in the tree, right next to the tree, Eric. Yeah, you want a second, Donald? Have control. Fire on the TF2. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, third target next to the uh, green pack in the tree. Got him. Ready. I have control. Fire on the TF2. Stand by. Five, four, three. Good. Simultaneous shot. That was almost perfect. All right. Uh, circle target in front of rock pile. Got it. Ready? Yep. I have control. Fire on the TF2. Stand by. Five, four, three. All right. I heard one, but y'all shots were at the same time, so I don't know. That's a definite hit. Yep. All right. We got the big fucker in the woods to the right. I realize why. Oh. All right, I'm on him when you're ready, Eric. All right, ready. I have control. Found the TF2. Stand by. Five, four, three. Both rim packs. All right, last target, small little gray one. Yeah, I'm good. on him. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Fire on the TF2, stand by. Five, four, three. Oh. Not function. <laughs> All right. Damn, Thomas. Knocked it over. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> I was about to shoot you. Good one. <laughs> oh.